In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some simple basics around using Google Calendar. So um, one of the things I want to show you first of all over here on the side is the list of calendars. Um, by default, at the top, you already have a calendar made for you. You could um, also add other calendars. So you can see here I've been invited to um, participate in some school calendars. So by selecting those, you can see how they populate. So if I want to look at, for example, Brownington School's calendar versus Brownington's gym calendar to see if there's any overlap, or if I want to look at Brownington's calendar versus um, Irisburg's calendar, I can select and deselect those calendars to view them. Right now, I'm in the week view. If I click here at the top, you can see the different views I have listed. So if I want to look at a month at a time, or a year, or a single day, you can do that. I'm gonna work mostly in the week view for this tutorial. To add dates, um, a couple ways you can do it. So in the week or the day view, I could go and I could drag to create an event. So this event would happen from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. To let go, it asks me to give it a title. So I'll call that a meeting, for example. You can also double click and it'll give you this advanced um, advanced feature view with more details. So let's say I add another meeting here. I could do things like um, designate it's an all day meeting or um, specify the time. Now by default, you can see it breaks things up by half hours. But let's say this meeting actually takes place at 1220 to 140. I could specify that. Um, you, can, you can put in a location. Okay. So I could put in like the central office, for example. Okay. Um, notifications. So I have this meeting set to notify me 10 minutes before. I could change that to hours before. So an hour before, it could give me a little pop-up in my corner that there's a meeting. Um, I could add additional notifications. So I could say, okay, remind me one hour before, but also notify me two days before. Maybe I have to prep something for the meeting. You can see here description. That's the place you could add notes. So sometimes for a meeting, I might add um, some bullet point notes about some of the agenda topics or maybe a link to the agenda in my Google Drive. You can see here there's an event color. So one thing you can do to um, visually make events in your calendar stand out is to kind of designate certain colors for certain events. So let's say I decide to do all my meetings as this green color. So if I select it here and every time I add a meeting event um, make it green and let's say I make um, training for myself blue and kind of red for meetings. When I look at it, it will visually stand out in terms of what kind of event it is. Over here on the side, you can see where you can add guests. So you can actually invite people to this meeting or to um, the training or whatever the event is just by clicking in here and um, selecting or typing in their Google address. For now, I'm gonna just save this event can see I have two events now listed. Now, at any point, I can click on the single event and get more details here. I can click on my options. You can see here I can duplicate events. I can change it to another calendar. Or I can click on the pencil to get back to this main screen here. You can also double click and it'll bring up your details page. Now, for this, which I just dragged to make the event, I can also double click it and get to the details if I need to change things. Um, one helpful hint, if you right click or control click on an event, it gives you this little screen here, including a place where you can quickly change the colors. So if you do the drag method and don't want to have to go into details to change the color, control click will do it. You'll notice I can at any point click on the trash can to delete an event. Or if you click on it once or right click it, you can click on delete or once and just hit your delete key, you'll get rid of it. 
So that's a very basic overview of how to use a Google Calendar.